Apple just released the fourth developer beta of iOS 26. Here is everything new. Real quick, if you want to keep up to date with the latest Apple news and reviews, hit that subscribe button. So the fourth developer beta has been released after roughly two weeks of testing the third developer beta. As is typical, Apple has introduced a number of new features and changes. I'm going to walk you through them. Okay, let's get into it. I have my iPhone 16 Pro here, and this update weighed in at just over two gigs, though your mileage may vary depending on where you are in the world and what operating system you are upgrading from. This is about two weeks after the previous developer beta of iOS 26. Now, the first thing that I noticed and I wanted to see right after updating was the state of liquid glass. It was more maybe transparent glass or frosted glass in the last update, but this update seems to restore a bit more of those dynamic effects that looked so good and why so many people liked liquid glass. Now, I really do want to emphasize that this is definitely going to still continue to change. We are weeks and weeks away from this being released, likely in September, and Apple's probably going to continue to tweak liquid glasses effects until we actually get to that release. Personally, though, I think everything is starting to look really nice, and I'm very excited for more of this liquid glass effect. On the wallpaper side of things, we have a new dynamic wallpaper option. Apple has several stock wallpapers that users can choose from for each of its software updates. So for iOS 26, Apple has this new one here that we have seen a few times already, and it comes in a few different colors. Now you no longer have to choose a color. You can choose the new dynamic option that will change colors for you. Now let's talk about Apple Intelligence. Apple is once more restoring a previously removed feature. Before, there was some issues with Apple Intelligence summarizing news headlines and definitely misunderstanding them. So Apple had pulled back the feature, took it away, and now it is bringing it back, obviously still in beta here, and some very clear warnings that it should be verified before you take anything that the summary says as truth. So always verify your stuff, especially when it is being summarized by AI. Titles alone already are not that solid. There's more tweaking for the call screening. Now users have additional options. So you no longer had uh, an option to silence unknown callers uh, with the previous betas. That is now back as kind of an option for call screening. So when a call comes in that you don't know, you can either just silence it, it's an unknown call, ignore it, or you can screen it and you know ask what they are calling about and all that stuff. So call screening is a really nice new feature and Apple's kind of bundling that in with the previously available silent unknown call option. So just more options for the users, which is pretty much always good. When we go to the camera app, after updating to the newest beta and opening the camera, you will see a new alert. This is basically just a splash screen letting you know of the updated camera design. It tells you how you can swipe left or right to get to the different parts of the camera app, just so people are kind of aware of it, as Apple usually does. We'll start to see more of these splash screens pop up as we get closer to the final release of iOS 26. And since we're talking about the camera, there is a new camera icon. It's a pretty small tweak, and if you're looking far away, you might not even notice it. But put them side by side and get a little bit closer, you'll notice how that ring around the edge that's kind of like the frame of the lens, that has been removed or at least made smaller. And now it looks more like an actual iPhone lens with a very small bezel kind of around the outside and more of the glass there in the center. So some more tweaks on Apple's new icons. On the lock screen, there's a really neat idea here that Apple had, which is when you were looking at your notifications or you have a notification come in, it'll make your lock screen darker. It makes it a little bit easier to see your notification. So you'll notice it on you when you have a notification on the lock screen, as well as when you scroll down to see all your notifications, it'll become darker to allow them to be more legible. Then finally, we have an update for CarPlay. Apple has added additional wallpapers. There are now six wallpaper options. They have dark mode, light mode, and dynamic modes for all uh, six of those wallpapers. So there are six new colors, but Apple has also removed a few wallpapers as well. Some of the older ones that related to older versions of iOS, they have been taken away. So if you are planning on switching to any of those, do so now because Apple will be removing them as soon as iOS 26 comes out. So that's it. That is what is new in the fourth developer beta of iOS 26. 
we should be getting a public beta very soon. Apple said that the public beta of iOS 26 will be arriving in July. We are now more than halfway through the month, so it's going to be this week or next week that we do get that beta. So of course, stay tuned to Apple Insider and I'll bring you all the latest news as we have it. Otherwise, let me know what you think of the new iOS beta down below in the comments and be sure to subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video.